<laughs> Hello, Floss Tube. Welcome to episode 26. Um, this is a channel about cross stitching where I show the progress of the work I've been working on. I try to keep it once a week. Sometimes I have to push it forward a little. Um, and today it's been 14 days since the last time. And I've seen that I've got quite a few new subscribers. So hello, all of you. And thanks to everyone who um, keeps coming back to watch my channel. Last weekend, I was at the stitching retreat, uh, which is called the Soul Stitch, and I had a great time. Uh, it was a bunch of women <laughs> meeting up and stitching together. Uh, the um, rooms we were in were very big, so there was plenty of space between each of us that felt very good and safe. Uh, we had some workshops, so I tried to dye some fabric. I wasn't too happy about the result, but hey, it was the first time I did it. I made some needle minders. And what else did I do? I framed a piece. Yeah, so those were the things I did. And then I stitched quite a lot. <laughs> yes. So um, I'm just going to show my progress. Um, last video, I said that I enjoyed the secret garden so much. So I just wanted to continue that until I went to the soul stitch. And I did, but I didn't stitch as much as I thought I was going to do. Uh, so I just put in like 200 stitches more, I think. And this is the progress of the supersized Max Color uh, Secret Garden. And I'm really enjoying this. I loved the, the colors and how all the mix together becomes books and trees and leaves. And I really enjoy this one, actually. And I'm starting to lean toward getting maybe two or two to four um, focus pieces for my heaven and earth uh, and try to just work on them to get some progress. I want more than just a page finish. I want a little bit more. And that's thoughts that I have gotten after the soul stitch retreat. Um, yes, and since I'm talking about it, uh, I met Rebecca. Uh, Becca, Stitchy, Be Be Stitchy Becca. Hello. It was such a great thing to meet you. Um, she's just as nice as she seems to be on her floss tube. And it was, it, I think I made a, a Stitchy friend and uh, it was really, really, really nice. So, and we talked about uh, works that we were stitching on and she did mention the um, uh, softest steel piece and I was like I think that I've kind of stitched 17 18 pages already and that's quite a lot I think I have about 25 percent finish on her and then I'm like why don't I stitch a little bit more on her I might get a finish you know so I stitched on that and then I don't know why but I felt like hmm, I want to stitch a little bit more on my uh, supersized uh, fantastic voyage so I actually put in a few hundred stitches there as well let's see where's the beginning it is so a little bit more on that you don't see a lot of uh, difference on it but it's quite nice I like this fabric a lot and I'm stitching most of my heaven and earths on 25 count 
and then soul stitch came and the first evening there i went there already on thursday and i stitched on my uh, long dog sampler because it was like in the evening and it was simple because I don't have to switch thread. So I got a little progress there as well. I stitched uh, this part here. So yeah, it's very nice. It's very enjoyable actually. And I like that symmetric thing going on. And I'm stitching this on 32 count. I think it's 32 count, yes. And I'm using sulky threads. And I have it in this very nice project project bag that I bought from Etsy. So that was Thursday and then on Friday when it all started with when everyone started to turn up I decided to start stitching to continue stitching on my Mirabilia and I need to actually remove the stretchers um, I, I didn't think that I would, you know, be able to stitch on my scroll frames since we were going to sit like at a table, but it worked like a charm. And I got to finish the bottom of Veronica. So I finished this piece here. And then I've started on the, the uh, lighter part of her dress now. I just love, 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 love my Mirabilias. They're so beautiful. And that is stitched on 32 count linen, uh, which it's, uh, it's called for. We'll just put it over here and then I finally got the fabric for my Deliciosa, my new heaven and earth start and I have been hooked on that uh, project since. So I have stitched over 3,000 stitches I think it is and 1% is done and this is the top left corner and from this distance it's uh, oh it's so beautiful and I'm just really enjoying it it's the colors are a little bit dull um, so uh, at soul stitch on Saturday when I was stitching the top uh, of the piece then I felt like it was enough um, but when I came back home I just you know I just kept on stitching and I really enjoyed and I'm almost almost to the half page and I know that when I get to the bottom of the page the fountain in the background which is taking up quite a big part of the picture is already coming you know so I want to continue uh, so I will not spin the wheel uh, this week either I will just continue on my Deliciosa I want some progress in I hope I can you know I feel kind of stuck to this at, at the moment I hardly want to stitch my mirror at the moment I just want to keep on so I will keep on and see if I can get just a little bit more progress 
oh and we got these cool clips uh from the stitch retreat to hold the fabric uh, away from the back very nice so those are um the works i've been working on and i will continue stitching on deliciosa and my mirabilia so those are the two i will continue on and <clears throat> so I'm not sure I will continue with the wheel uh, because I started to feel like Soft as Steel, Deliciosa are two heaven and earth. I want to get some progress in. But then I would really like one of the, the bookshelves. So I have my secret garden. I have my travel uh, bookshelf, which I have already stitched eight pages of. And it looks amazing. And then we have the secret garden, which I'm really enjoying the colors and everything. And then we have the fantastic voyage, which hardly anyone is stitching. And there's some cool um, stuff going on there. And then I have um, the once upon a fairy tale, which I feel still pretty negative about. So I'm not sure, but I want one of those as well. So we'll see. Now, <clears throat> at the stitch retreat, I bought some stuff. I bought this magazine, World Cross Stitch, and it is, can I see which month and I don't know. I don't know. I got this one. I like those teddy bears there. So I bought this cheap just to get a feeling for what kind of magazine it is. If I should start, um, you know, getting it regular regularly. <laughs> that was kind of hard to say. I got that. And I got myself a Mirabilia. There was one lady selling the Royal Holiday. It's one of the mirrors I've been watching for quite a while. I love this one. And she sold the pattern and the specialty threads and the beads. So I got that for a very good price. Um, So I'm thinking of uh, getting the DMC together and I think I have a piece of fabric for it. You know, the same uh, fabric I had for my um, Miss Christmas Eve. I think this one would uh, look very good on that fabric as well. And then I bought myself some of these clips. You use it uh, especially when quilting and sewing. So I've wanted a package of this, these for a long time. And then I bought some just normal sewing thread. I don't know why I just did that. Looked nice. And these are the needle minders I did. I made, uh, but there's, there's going to be like a plastic see-through thing glued on here and she was uh, she forgot to bring them so she's gonna send them out so it's not really complete yet yet but I made all Halloween themed and I had one of these and this one And this one. So I hope we'll get the final things for these soon. And then she had 32 or 33 cones of DMC. And she told us everyone was allowed to get 10 meters of each color. So I got that. Always good to have extra threads. And here is the fabric. I dyed, I was supposed to get 
a piece of linen because I was thinking maybe I could dye something for a mirabilia but she hadn't got any linen because we know the situation of the world so I said yes to a piece of even weave and so I did and I don't know the te technique I didn't understand the instructions very well so I just tried and it's my first time so this is it was like a bluish color with purple and like this so maybe I'm not too proud of it that's why I don't want to show it too much but maybe I could use it for like smaller pieces I don't know I'm I'm looking forward to the next time because then I know a little bit more what to do that was that and that and the clips oh yes and I did and I, I I made a Q-snap this is how a modern Q-snap looks like no I'm just kidding I made a Q-snap uh, stand where which you kind of sit on in the sofa and you have the whole thing in front of you and the thing is that it didn't hold together um, it's going to be like this so this has to be like this I think I think maybe like this I was thinking maybe I should just kind of glue it together because every time I touch it it just falls apart but you know the idea of it is really cool and I actually build it together myself so I'm very proud so this is how it looks so you kind of sit on it you know and then you have it like this in front of you and then I can have like a big piece in front of me like this you know stitching I think that's kind of cool and I got those uh, snaps here as well so I did that too as a workshop and why don't I have the one I framed? I don't know where. I, I, I framed this piece and it all got all crooked and stuff. So you don't want to see that. So that's like the stuff I got from Sew Stitch. And then I got my Queen Bee. I got my newest Mirabilia from Hawkins Hobbies. Let's take a look inside. These are all the gorgeous, gorgeous DMCs. Beautiful. And this time I wanted the fabric, which was brown. I'm very cur curious of stitching on brown. Chestnut chestnuts and this are the specialty threads we have some Kranich and we have the carry-on carry-on uh, lilies the word I have such a problem pronouncing look at these colors excuse me if I'm drooling you know so 
I'm very curious. Uh, espresso, we know this one from earlier. Morning mist. And we have blonde. And burnt toast. And then we have oh all oh, the candy oh my god that's quite a lot of um, beads in the embellishment pack there are no treasures right i don't think so but they're so gorgeous and we have the pattern She is so beautiful. I, what I like the most is this part with the honey comb and the bees and everything. What I like the least is that around her gloves there's light, um, I think it's gold chronic maybe they're backstitching with. I don't, I didn't like that. So I might go with black on that. We'll see. But very nice. So I will pack that down later. So that's all. I'm going to try to keep this floss tube very short. Um, but we had a giveaway to celebrate fall and autumn. So Lori, Lori sent me the apple harvest pattern, which is 20 pages. It's such a gorgeous piece of pattern. It's very cute. There's lots of apples in it. So cute. And there's bees in it and oh it's so it's so nice. And I'm throwing in the cute little needle minder of the hedgehog. I think I've learned now that it's called a hedgehog. And I'm also throwing in some nice silks as well, just in case, you know. Um, and now we're going to see who the winner is. And I want you guys to subscribe, to fill out the form, and to write harvest in the comments of the, the latest video. So let's go check out who the winner is. Have I come to the right place? Here we go. So this is the link to the video. Uh, filter comments based on a specific text. Harvest. And get YouTube comments. Only five of you entered to in the giveaway of the apple harvest. So you have like 20% chance to win. Let's see who the winner is. And the winner is Sarah's Crafty Aussie Adventures. Hi there, Linda. My fave new hate release I love is Story Keep Lady with Green Dragon. I want to get that one. I like Addie in the Window and Rose Panther. I'm about to start on my first hate, Mini Dragon Kin with no background. So excited, can't wait. I have been enjoying Chinese Zodiac Cell from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Harvest. Well, Sarah. Congrats. Well, congratulations, Sarah. You're subscribing, you have filled out the form, and you said harvest. So, Sarah, you are the winner of this very beautiful, sweet, full coverage pattern. 
a needle minder and some silk threads. I will contact you by email and I will send it off as soon as I can. And let's hope that, you know, the post office is uh, working fast. So I'm getting close to 800 subscribers. When we hit, I say we, because you guys are with me. When we hit 800, it is time for a new heaven and earth giveaway. So keep hitting the subscribe button because I don't have that many followers. So you have a big uh, chance of winning. Yes. And we're getting close to Halloween. So there's a little giveaway um, upcoming for that as well. Uh, but, you know, there is still like three, four weeks to go. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, let's just stop talking and let's get back to stitching. And uh, hopefully I will see you next week. Have a nice one. Bye.